Hello Homestead team, I'm Chaplain Robert Terrell and this is your January 9th, 2023 Monday Motivator. If you are one of the team members that lives outside the state of Wisconsin, you may have heard the entire state of Wisconsin sigh last night around 10 p.m. I mean, realistically, I'm, I'm not being honest there. But for a lot of people, it was not a great night because the Packers lost. Now that's really just football. It's not the end of the world, even though I'm a big Packers fan and I was shouting, go Pack Go, and hoping we would win the game, but we didn't. But it did get me to thinking about the bad things that actually do happen in our lives. Right now I'm reading a book by Charles Dickens uh, that's known as The Haunted Man. And the whole story is that there is this man who is given a gift and that gift is that he's able to forget the worst things that happened to him in his life, and he can pass that gift on to others. It ends up being kind of a Midas touch moment where he thinks it's going to be a great thing, but what he begins to realize is as he passes that gift on to others to forget the worst things that have happened to him, well, it changes who they are. Because what he begins to realize is this nurse who takes care of people takes care of people because she lost a child. And this student who loves this woman, loves this woman because she was there for him in the midst of his pain. All of these horrific experiences end up shaping who they are. Now in my faith, I'm taught that all things work for the good of those who love God and are called according to his purposes. And that doesn't mean that all things are good. It means that the evil done to us doesn't have to have the final word. What I think of is one of my best friends growing up. He was abused by his family members. Now that abuse will never be good. In fact, I would describe it as evil. But my friend was not going to allow that evil done to him to have the final word. Instead, it began to shape him into the type of person who cares for others who've been abused. And the abuse that was done to him helped him to help other people. Now again, the abuse done to him will always be evil. He would have preferred that it not happen, but he wasn't going to allow it to have the final word. That's, again, what my faith teaches me. But I think it's true for all of us, regardless of faith. We have choices to allow what has been done to us that was wrong, sometimes evil, to shape us to live better lives. What has been done to you? What have you seen done? And how is it shaping you? Are you letting it destroy you are you allowing it to shape you into someone who is more caring? After all, we are caregivers. That evil can shape us to bring about more good. I think that's part of what love the verb involves. Not allowing evil to have the last word. I would love to hear how you've been shaped and how it has led to good. My contact information is always at the end of every one of these videos. And if you remember nothing else from this video, remember this. Our CEO, God, cares for you, and so do I. Have a great week, okay? Oh, go Pat and go.